Welcome to Anime Thoughts, where I, your anime thought, will lead you into discussion. Today's topic is 10 main characters that are really smart. There are so many instances where characters have proved to be fairly intelligent, so making this list was kinda hard. With that being said, let's get started. Number 10, Shokugeki no Soma. I chose this to be number 10 because he is a genius when it comes to making food. I would have put him further down the list, but other than cooking, he isn't crazy smart, like the other characters I've chosen. Regardless, this anime will have you binge watching the entire series in one night. Number 9, Amagi Brilliant Park. This anime is centered around Kaini Seiya, who is tasked with being the new manager at a magic park called Amagi Brilliant Park. This park is terrible at managing and is about to be closed for good. This is where Seiya comes in, forced to bring 500,000 people to the park in 3 months, or it'll be closed for good. Number 8. The World God Only Knows The title makes this anime sound like it's going to be this insane anime with mind-blowing ideas. Instead, we are given a neat that loves to play 2D dating games all day long. After a couple of events, he becomes forced to date actual women. It's incredible how smart he is at getting all the girls he dates to open up. Number 7. The Irregular at Magic High School Basically, where magic is being used, there is a school that bases everything on magic ability, where people with low magic ability get put as weeds, and people with high magic ability get put as blooms. The main character is considered a weed, but shows how flawed the system is with his amazing knowledge with technology. Number 6. Zenkyu no Terra. The two main character names are 9 and 12. Basically, these two guys are blowing up stuff in Tokyo. Sounds kinda messed up, but it's a decent anime. The government is unable to stop them, or even find them for that matter. It's insane to see how they set everything up and just how the story builds. These guys are definitely smart being able to pull off such tasks. Number 5. Log Horizon Shiori is practically the main character in this anime. He's an expert at a game called Elder Tell. One day he was sucked into the game after an update as well as everyone else that was playing. He pretty much explores and conquers this new old world. He's a genius when it comes to this game and just all around fun to watch him deal with the struggles. Number 4. No Game, No Life is yet another anime where the main character is a genius at playing games. He's so good at playing games that a god invites him and his sister to a world, or maybe another realm for that matter, to play games. You could almost say the currency is playing games in this world. Number 3. Geku Budai Kaiji Ultimate Survivor Kaiji is the main character of this bizarre anime. Unlike the last two, this anime is about gambling. Now, I would have made this number one if Kaiji would have ever learned his lesson throughout the series. Basically, he's extremely sharp and perceptive, which makes him a grade above most humans. It's awesome watching him overcome the struggles of a one-sided gamble. Number two, Nejimaki Serai Senkai Tenkyo no Aldamarian. I know the title is really big to process, but I promise it's a good anime. Out of all the anime, this is probably the one you haven't seen already. The main character is extremely lazy, but that's what makes him so smart. He is so lazy that he always comes up with a solution that solves problems others would have failed at. It's a military tactic type of anime that I regard highly of. Number 1. One Outs The main character is terrifyingly brilliant when it comes to gambling and playing baseball. He reads his opponent's emotions and throws perfect balls for the players to miss. Taui starts off extremely powerful, especially for main characters, destroying everyone. If you want to see brains in action, watch this anime. Honestly, for this countdown, they could have been in any order. Tell me in the comments below what order you would have put them in, or which anime you feel like got left out. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Next video will be my review of 4 through 6 episodes of Boruto. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.